if the government itself is illegitimate, illegitimacy is promoted, is condoned, is encouraged. There's no surprise that if you have a government that is not accountable to the electorate, then what is going to constrain that government's members and officials to engage in acts of corruption, especially if they can do so with impunity, knowing that there's no punishment. But how and can I, you talk I, about I, uh, illegitimacy here, uh, uh, Milton, when uh, the Ugandan president always reminds you that uh, Uganda holds periodic <laughs> elections, and he wins those periodic <laughs> elections? Uh, Shaka, holding elections in and of itself is not democracy, especially when you hold the elections and you determine and announce the results of who won those elections. When you appoint the commissioners who preside over those elections, supervise those elections, and announce the results. Those are not elections. Those are sham elections. We need to have legitimate elections with independent electoral commission, and then we can have independent, verifiable results. And once we have authentic, legitimate governments, and this is where term limits comes back into play, because if you're an opposition party, you know you will have an opportunity to impress the electorate and offer them a better program and a better solution, and then maybe you can be elected into office maybe in five years from now, maybe in 10 years from now. When you, when you have one individual who's already been there for 26 years and is authorized because he engineered the lifting of term limits, is authorized to continue running perpetually, we have no confidence that we are ever going to be able to effectively tackle the issue of corruption. So it's tied in together. A legitimate regime, a legitimate actions, which includes corruption. And I also have to say that my sympathy goes out to Ingrid. The way she was treated was most humiliating. Every decent human being around the world who saw those images should be outraged, regardless of whether you agree with her politics or not, including the first lady of Uganda, should be outraged and make a statement, if not the president himself.